Pittsburgh police plan to arrest a man for trying to sexually assault a woman in a wheelchair on the south side. They believe it's just the latest case of someone in the homeless population who has untreated mental illness. In part two of his reporting on addiction and mental illness on the streets, KDK lead investigator Andy Sheehan says police are making arrests but are limited in preventing crimes. A spate of random violent attacks on innocent victims. A young female intern attacked downtown by a stranger. An elderly man thrown to the ground by another. A man who witnesses say appeared not to be in his right mind is accused of shooting a good Samaritan who tried to help him. In each case, police have made an arrest and identified each attacker as a homeless person suffering from mental illness. But Pittsburgh Chief Larry Scarato says they're limited in their ability to prevent these attacks. There's oftentimes not resources for them, and, and now their behaviors are able to manifest in our streets. Uh, and, and it's not predictable, right? It can't rationalize an irrational mind. Shelter providers tell us that 75% of our homeless suffer from addiction, mental illness, or a combination of both. And while mental health experts will tell you that mentally ill people are no more inclined to violence than the rest of the population, Light of Life Mission's Jarrell Gilliam says left untreated, a small percentage will be. That 5% or so that after not having uh, mental health treatment, no medication, dealing with continual trauma, where their behavior becomes more and more aggressive. In each case, the suspect had been arrested time and again for offenses ranging from theft to disorderly conduct to assault. But most got little jail time and no apparent treatment for their mental condition. We tried to mitigate it. We tried to identify those individuals that show those high, the, those behaviors that have the proclivity toward violence. However, because it's irrational in the moment, it's oftentimes very difficult to intercept. The city is making some strides in trying to identify people at risk to themselves and others and intercede. But Gilliam and others say the system needs an overhaul. And that's where we have to be able to expand the capacity for those who are experiencing severe mental health, be able to take them off the street right away, get the treatment they need, and then offer ongoing support for them so they don't have to return. Andy Sheehan, KDKA-TV News.